So this is actually uh, the transformer model that was presented in the attention is all you need paper. We've covered everything. <laughs> okay, you know, no, not quite. I, I skipped two things. Okay, but we covered positional encodings. We've covered multi-head self-attention. We've covered masked multi-head self-attention and we've covered multi-head cross-attention and you understand all these blocks. There's actually just one thing that I didn't cover, which is these add and norm blocks that I didn't really speak about. So these are um, a combination of two things, layer normalization and residual connections. And if you've done a really good neural network course, you will actually understand those things already. And if you haven't done so, you can very quickly look up what, the, what they are, but they're basically, and the normalization approach squashes things so that they have a sensible scale. And the residual approach, it's actually illustrated a little bit here. So you actually have these little like connections that bypasses the multi-head attention block. And that is something that allows the gradients to flow through, even if we have very, very deep neural networks. Um, I just wanted to say something about terminology quickly. Okay. So some people would say, if they say we use the transformer, then they would actually refer to this thing it in its entirety okay and then you're probably doing something like machine translation okay sometimes you would see a little diagram and then on the diagram it would have like um transformer layers Trans it would just say transformer and then that would go into i don't know a, a cnn for some weird reason okay and there would be the input to the model x one to t or something like that and if, if they do this, then really what they're talking about is a transformer layer, okay? And a transformer layer, it's not defined precisely, but it's probably one of these blocks where you have self-attention, add norm, and a feed forward, and then another add norm. And one of these is a transformer layer. And here you can see that it's times n, so you can actually um, sequence those layers on top of each other, okay? So if you see transformer layer, then it's probably this thing. I think in PyTorch you actually have a transformer encoder, which is this, and a transformer decoder, which is this. Okay, so they split it up in this way. But sometimes people would just talk about self-attention and transformers kind of intermingled. So sometimes people would say transformer when they really just mean the self-attention block, because that's the paper which introduced it. So that's just a bit of terminology so that you don't get um, super confused. I hope that helps. Um, okay, and I guess then the very last thing to say, GPT, uh, Generative pre Transformer, this is the fundamental technology that it's based on and this is really the core building block of a model like, um, like GPT. We haven't spoken about training strategies and things like that and that's also really important. Scale is obviously very important, but you actually now understand all the, the basic building blocks of um, this, this Transformer model. The other very nice um, reference in the further reading list is um, the annotated transformer, which really steps through this very um, slowly. It's from Harvard in a notebook, and you can actually look at the different um, steps and how it's actually coded up. So that's um, also very neat.